Okay, vibration amazing for the reading for the scorpion sun moon and rising sign this is for the fourth period of the year 2019 I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the energy vibration reading for the scorpions ladies and gentlemen this is a general reading this is a timeless timeless reading that means it affect people in different times it can affect you the next three months or the three months are um, that has gone um, it is good to check out 2018 readings or two, 2017 readings for the fourth quarter to see if nothing affects you in these readings okay because these are timeless and not only that they are timeless but sometimes um, most of the time we vibrate an under energy vibration and I could be getting um, a stronger energy vibration for the next two three years because I'm a multi-dimension beam so that could be something that is happening okay so let's see what is coming out for you um, Pisces uh, scorpions for um, scorpions okay so we're seeing the wheel of fortune where you're dealing with an issue something is going to be relieving your life in the month of November October and it's going to be replaced with the wheel of fortune whatever that is leaving your life in october it's going to be replaced okay so whatever that is leaving your life in october you scorpions it is going to be replacing okay november you have rebirth coming up in november because obviously you were dealing with an issue and this is going to leave your life in October and in November you there is the devil of the energy of an Aries or some negative influence there's going to be a rebirth because it's as if the universe is going to be calling in in December you're going to be having a new start where you're going on a new part in your life so you have fire in the month of October water in November and in December you have a new start a hair sign so um, a rebirth is going to be coming between you and a Gemini now I would not do that because whatever you both are doing your rebirth could be in jail okay I'm telling you okay because I know who you are and you're watching but you reconnect with this Gemini or Libran your rebirth could be in jail okay so be aware of that all right let's see what's happening for you guys all right ten of Pentacles is in reverse so whatever you were hoping for um, because some of you have not been honest with a situation some of you were trying to put your parents or trying to steal from your parents you're going to be caught so your wheel of fortune a judgment call is here for your wheel of fortune okay Prince of Pentacles is also in reverse the princess so definitely the princess of Pentacles this is a younger woman um, there is it can be a rebirth between you and this young person some of you were in relationship with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn there can be a rebirth and a new start so now I see but if you try to have a new start with a with an Aquarian or a Gemini or a Libra you're definitely going to jail so I'm seeing a rebirth between you and a young Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person now um you are only getting back with this person because of money it's not that you want to be with this person or deal with this person it's just because of money so I see you want this new start and you and, and this this young person wants this new start because they have been uh, this woman this young woman wants this new start because she has been thinking about it but whatever has transpired um, she's realizing that you are only back with her because of money six of cups so obviously I've known this person from past lifetime it could be in friendship it could be in love whatever the issue is but you are getting back to this person because you tried to take down your family for money didn't work and this is the reason why you're coming back okay so whatever that was happening and transpiring the ten of Pentacles for you is in reverse especially with with family and money so you are looking for a new start some of you and 
um, with a young um, Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn now it is someone who you have known in past lifetime there is no question about that is definitely someone you have known in past lifetime because I'm seeing this coming up here is definitely someone who you have known in past lifetime now you're considering to have a family with this person because you want to um, and and you're thinking about having kids with this person but it there is right now I'm not seeing any love I am just seeing that you're trying to find a financial stability and definitely some of you who are in relationship with a, a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn young lady could be um, she could be pregnant and she could be thinking about whether or not she wants this new she could be pregnant and she's thinking about whether or not she wants to keep the kid for you so this is her some of you are having problems financial with money your with family money okay um definitely there is a situation but I'm you know whatever that is happening the wheel of fortune is in, is, is in here and some of you it's it's is it's having some issue where it comes up um, because the wheel of fortune is a, um, and it has to do with a lover a Leo but it, it doesn't have to be a Leo it's a verb is it's a yeah, a past love that this person only wants money okay it's all about money for this person and I'm seeing your family is saying hell no because we don't want that person so you Scorpio comes up in your reading and there's going to be a rebirth for you Scorpion you come back up in your reading and these cards are, but you're not coming up in a very positive okay you want a rebirth but the rebirth is not coming up in a positive things so and this is what I was saying to some of you cancer uh, scorpions you got to be careful of this rebirth because Pluto is coming to give a transition because you have been playing a very nasty game some of you not all of you not all of you and it's falling back on you your true not some of you are going to be finding your true not okay some of you are going to be connecting with um yeah and saturn came up there is an issue that is going on with you scorpion because saturn came up in um december for you guys in november december so that is going to be your birthday so saturn came up so i, I you know some of you could be having saturn going through your birth chart in this a coming year so you scorpion be aware of this because Saturn could be coming up to your birth chart and when Saturn comes in it's gonna clear up now whoever this Taurus Virgo or um, this Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is, is a Capricorn because this person is bringing um, Saturn through your vibration energy okay they're going to be teaching you a lot of things so if you decide to have a new start with this um, young person they're going to be teaching you a lot of things they're going to be showing you your true note okay six of cups is here where I'm seeing some of you scorpions are thinking about your family um, and you ladies huh? you ladies are thinking about the family because you're you know it's um, the time because this came out where a lot of women um, are thinking you know am I going to come around am I going to have the 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 money um, to support my family especially in this time because Christmas is coming up and it's gonna be okay you know I can tell you this because from the energy vibration that is coming up for these three last months it's as if you guys have gone through so much and now it's as if the universe is coming up now for you ladies I'm seeing financial security in the reverse okay but I'm seeing you're finding your true note so some of you could be realizing that your contract is not going to be starting and you're thinking about building something that is going to protect you and your family and money and this is definitely going to be happening for you because I'm seeing the energy of uh, the psychic the independent and the generosity because I'm seeing the energy of Sagittarius and the voyage this I'm seeing that some of you lady could be thinking that you're going to visit family for a vacation and you're wondering if you are going to have the financial stability and it's a yes okay very good alchemist that is here so some of you could be reconnecting with a Virgo 
or some of you could be reconnected with a Capricorn whoever these people are are going to be showing your true north. so it could be friends that you were friends but yet still you know something went away and then you're reconnecting with these young people and they are going to be helping you and showing you your true north whoever these people are okay so the wheel of fortune some of you are definitely going to be finding out that someone you were seeing that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn is your soulmate or twin flame you're really going to be finding out that because it's as if the wheel of fortune is sending that person in your life okay so some of you are really going to be finding your twin flame and soulmate and there is a marriage because uh, um, the energy of the lover is going to be long term transition is definitely coming in for you cancers and this transition is bringing a rebirth some of you have it in the month of November some of you can have it in the month of uh, October some of you can have it in December some of you who are going to go through some transition and this is why I ask for a birthday reading ladies and gentlemen because that's where you can see a transition is definitely coming up and a rebirth for you scorpions okay the scorpions who were born on the 20th Sarah scorpions that was born um, yeah or has some or two 220 or eight you're going to be feeling it the most 220 or eight is going to feel it the most um Saturn is definitely going to be coming in your life Saturn Saturn is definitely going to be coming in your life and I'm seeing um, some of you are going to be manifesting money in your life so you have the alchemist is as if you're going to be manifesting money in your life like unbelievable and uh, and that is going to be changing the, the the vibrational energy because some of you are going to be connecting with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn and if it's a Virgo this person is going to um, manifest so much money in your life that it's going to be unbelievable so again whatever is happening with these three last months I'm seeing money coming up for you guys I like a lot of money coming up for you guys okay yeah some of you um, there's a trans transition with this new start whatever is happening I'm seeing some um, darkness that is covered with this new start I'm seeing um, this new start whatever is happening for you scorpion and you know whatever is happening scorpions be very careful because you have um, debt transition okay and let's hope another debt doesn't come up in your reading by the time I am finishing this because uncertainty about an illness, mental confusion. I end my case. But whatever this is, it's going to come to an end because um, some of you are going to be coming out of a negative cycle. Okay? And, you know... Mm. you know guys uncertainty about the endless mental confusion mental confusion some of you whatever um, your financial stability was your um, it is going to be getting better okay I'm seeing a situation with the organization um, some of you were dealing with a young person in an organization I'm seeing disciplines and rules is going to be coming in disciplines and rule is going to be coming in so it could be that this young person is going to bring some discipline and rule in the organization so this young person is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn they're coming in and they're going to shift up and change the shit around they're going to be shifting up and changing things around peace is finally here so ladies and gentlemen whatever that was happening with travel documents family travel documents um, ladies if you are planning on going to see the family for Christmas it's going to be okay take the kids and go it's going to be okay 
you will receive that money for that travel so it's going to be okay whoever that was having issue with your parents this is going to be resolved I'm seeing you going to your pa your parents and you're resolving an issue I'm seeing you ladies most of all um, whatever that was there I'm seeing peace with a travel situation please with travel documents whatever the issue the situation was I'm seeing this being resolved good so good so good so so money is gonna be here I'm seeing uh, ooh, door to values okay all right all right okay I, you know I want to thank a Pisces um, your beautiful soul I and I, I, I look down here and I said money is here and I picked this card up and I don't like this and the door to values mean also money Wow beautiful okay I want to thank someone really from the bottom of my heart is a young lady you were such you gave such a beautiful um you left such a beautiful message on my side and you said to me um the value um you are you're more valued than because you know your readings are so um um spot on and i want to thank you so much and i want to say to you that life is full of surprises for a lot of us and uh, um, my job is not my job is uh, it's not reading cards okay but I got a gift and uh, um, in 2012 I decided I am going to be um, balancing out my materialistic world and my spiritual world and I realized that I had a gift that I could help humanity and this is what I'm doing because I know that there are people if only they could receive a message from us light workers and we're called light workers because we help universe don't ever think that my life is better than yours or my life is easier than yours no it's not absolutely not we have to and trust me all light workers and everyone that read cards if they're really a light worker and they were gifted to read on they are going through enormous things in their lives and sometimes this is what um, things are pulled out our life so we can find this north because this is what we call the north node where we find our true divine presence and I want to say to you I wish you all the luck and thank you so much because it took a while for me to believe in myself and I don't read cards I channel but just as the card comes up and if you notice I say the thing and then the card is here because I already see the future okay and the weirdest thing for us is that uh, there is no way that we can read for ourselves because we always want to create we can't read for ourselves okay so we always want to rec recreate so I want to say to you Pisces because it was a Piscean it was a beautiful young lady thank you so much for that message because uh, um, you know people are not aware how um, how reading works and channeling work and that sort of a thing is is just a lot of energy okay and I make sure that I do mine to the best of my ability because I can start listening to someone else and know when someone else is bullshit. And I'm telling you, a lot of other young people are coming out and I'm seeing really um, each and every person have their own style. And if my channel doesn't support you, that means we're not from the same soul family. So whenever people leave um, this respectful message I just tell them you're not from my soul family once you're from my soul family you will understand what is happening and if you're vibrating with that energy and this is why I'm letting people know these are timeless readings so go back money 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 scorpions money is going to be coming um, for you scorpions um, definitely money is going to be coming in doors of value is open for you scorpion and this is good whatever is transpiring the doors of value is opening and whenever the doors of value is opening is new beginnings in your financial situations 
or your career new beginning in your financial situation or career okay so um, this is wonderful because the golden coin is here so it's an opening to a place that fills with light and beautiful and potential money coins jewelry um, flight together and through the open doors revealing a golden city beyond all the points ladies and gentlemen all the points and protect uh, potential for exciting new beginnings or expanding where work or money are concerned perhaps a new opportunity is totally unexpectedly or perhaps it's something you have been working towards for a quite some time is going to be coming to you okay either way keep your eyes open for this new beginning to appear in your life because it's going to and know that anything you value may be opened to you now remain um, cautious and curious about what is happening your affirmation is my life is open to endless possibilities of prosperity the river of abundance flow freely through my door bringing me unlimited wealth okay so remember your affirmation is my life is open to endless possibility of prosperity full stop the rivers of abundance flow freely through my doors bringing me ultimate wealth okay that's beautiful that's beautiful let's see what's happening here number four open up open up you scorpion you are too close off open up open up whatever is happening you scorpions open up you are too close off you need to open up yourself you need to let your family know you need to open up your heart and let them know what is happening um you're too closed up you scorpion and you need to open up speak up let people know what is happening what is transpiring and they will help you help will come to you i love you guys namaste until next time